Hello and welcome to Michelle's Life on Repeat. I have another box of orchids that came in the mail from my favorite vendor, Brookside Orchids. Of course, I put the order in so they weren't just a surprise, but I really can't remember what will be in that box, so I'll open it with you. I am still recovering from surgery that I had to treat uh, my neck in hopes of lessening my migraines. So I'll give, you know, I've got bags on top of the bags, like the luggage taken out the luggage. So I'm just gonna leave my migraine relief glasses on. And of course, I'll just show you the box when we get down into it. I thank you for joining me and I hope you're having a great November. Let's peek in the box. I opened the top already. Everything is going well in your neck of the woods. Um, drop me a hello and let me know some of the fun things, some of the boring things, some of the everyday things you are doing. And uh, let me raise this up a bit so you can see there is a tall plant here. Let me go a little bit higher. I really don't remember what I ordered. That's the part of the migraines. And of course, you know, when you go to put in an order, if you're like me, you scour three or four or five different vendors online, and then you try to make your decision from what you want to get, and then you put a few more things in because you're paying the shipping already. Well, hmm, maybe I just ordered two things. I thought I ordered more. I will have to look at the invoice. They didn't send me one. Let's check out this first one here. But um, so I don't remember because it was uh, multiple vendors and then I made a decision. And it's a dendrobium because that's one of my favorites. But I don't remember what it is. Let's see here. Okay. I think I saw this on Todd's channel. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure others have it. Dendrobium gold schmitti liantum. Gold, there's a little gap in my uh, typing here on this, so they may have forgotten the letter. Dendrobium gold schmitti liatum. It's a species from Taiwan and the Philippines. And with all of these dendrobiums, I always have to wonder, do I want to hang them via a mount or leave them in a pot and stake the canes? And I'll have to look it up to see how big she grows. But she's looking pretty good in there. I can see some roots on top. It's pretty solid when I hold her, so she didn't just get plopped in here. She's been growing in here for quite a while. And let me look close at her. She's got uh, more leaves still coming, so she's not done growing for the season. I'm excited. We will move on to the next one. This will be a quick unboxing. This big one, I believe, is the only other thing in my box here. I'm certain that I ordered more, but you go. Know, with migraines, you're never really certain. But she is a big, healthy plant. What do we guess that she is? Off the top of my mind, I couldn't even tell you. She looks like a dendrobium, but her canes are super, super thick. Let's continue the unwrapping of her at the bottom here and maybe there'll be a tag. Hmm, there is a tag. Let's see. 
this plant is, yeah, I stuck to my guns. I ordered another dendrobium. She is fat and big. I think she's going to be the one that gets to be three or four feet tall, maybe bigger. Dendrobium amabile. A dendrobium, A-M-A-B-I-L-E. She's a species plant from China and Vietnam. And let's do the test. Has she been in the pot long? She has, so she's been growing in here pretty well. Just two plants apparently is what I ordered. I will run downstairs and look at the invoice on the computer. Maybe they forgot one or maybe I forgot one. I will run down and go do that and I'll come back and let you know. So it looks like I did only order two plants and the gold Schmidtianum, I think I was going to mount her but I don't think I'll do anything right away. She will bloom in late uh, winter and possibly early spring and then do another flush of colors uh, in the late summer, beginning of fall. So I'm looking forward to that. I, alrighty, and the dendrobium here is the amabile. Um, she, does not need a winter rest. She will just keep on growing and they both should get to be 80 centimeters tall and then you add the spike and the flower. So pretty big in feet. That would be about two feet, six and a half, 2.6 feet tall. Add the spikes. We're looking at a three foot, maybe four foot if she does her job and I feed her well. And so I will have to bump my husband's computer table maybe to another room in the house. We'll, we won't let him know about that right now. And I will use his table for the height and for the sun that comes in the window. And I'll also have to put additional light over these because my other lights are across the room and I need more light directly on these guys. So it's going to be fun to figure out where to put everything. I am going to take these into my orchid room, clean her leaves up, check to make sure there's no bugs, give them a good drink to say welcome to my home little ones and send them on their merry way to growing. Thank you for checking in with me and watching this video today. I appreciate it. I'll put pictures up of the colors of these beautiful plants. And until we talk again, bye-bye.